Answering this question, what happens if the scapegoat leaves the family? This is a question on a previous video about how the scapegoat role can prop up families by being an easy target for unresolved issues. So, when the scapegoat leaves, there's three common things that can happen. One, the family chooses another scapegoat. This is often another sibling or the non-dominant caregiver. The family structure stays intact by maintaining the status quo, which in this case is always having a person to blame. Two, the family continues to blame the scapegoat even from afar. The remaining family members continue to mythologize that the scapegoat was always the problem and then leaving is just another sign of that truth. The scapegoat just couldn't keep it together and we're the normal ones. Of course, this is not true. And number three, the family falls apart because there's no easy target anymore to buffer the family from their unresolved issues. Sometimes in trying to pick another scapegoat, more family members disconnect or go no contact, and the family becomes further fractured. Many scapegoats deep down already know all this. They sense that their family system is fragile, and if they leave, things might fall apart. Sometimes the scapegoats continue to take the blame because it keeps the status quo going, and they feel they're the only one strong enough to take on this job. The key here is that scapegoats are not responsible for keeping families together, just like children are not responsible for preventing their parents' divorce. These patterns started long before the scapegoat ever arrived.